Uh, good morning everybody, uh, welcome back to Every Day with me Nick uh, It's a cold one, I've even got my uh, really good trapper hat on <laughs> We've got a bit, of, we've had, we've had some uh, freakishly great weather recently and I, I love it, I love it, I love the winter Winter is my favourite time of the year um, We've had some very 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 cold temperatures for like the, more, than, more cold than normal uh, the dogs are loving it as well, look. They love the snow. As long as they keep moving, we'll be all right. Um, so yeah, we've been getting minus temperatures on a night. Absolutely crackers, like minus two, three, four. You know, the rest of the UK has had some colder. Minus 10 to minus 15 almost. So, yeah. First job of the day is just to go make sure the chicken's water is, well, we break the ice basically. Have you got any water, girls? I doubt it, it'll be frozen, won't it? Oh, it's frozen. Even the gate's frozen. I can't get in. Oh, dear. Oh, there we go, we've got it. We've got it. Oh, girls, I'm coming. Oh, wow. Well, that was not where I was expecting. Are you ready, guys? <laughs> That's a few inches of uh, solid ice, if I have ever seen them. Uh, yeah, that'll be about two inches overnight. Right, I'll go get you some more water. That one's frozen. I think it was. was the other day. Yeah, it's a little bit frozen. Let's see if the. <laughs> see if the water did frozen. Yeah, there's a little bit frozen. <laughs> yep, that's frozen. That's that's about three inches. So to the IBC water container. Absolutely lovely. About ten o'clock in the morning. Sun's just sort of like coming up there. It won't stay up much, you know, during these winter months. Very shallow, shallow sun path. But yeah, what, what today? What am I doing today? Well, today, guys, I bought a used still MS 180C. I think it is. I think this is for us. Let's have, a, let's have a go. Yep. Bloody hell. Even my taps froze. Oh no. I was going to drain it as well. I was going to drain it. I don't want to break it. I could put some heat around that, but it's really not going to do anything. Not melt the plastic, but just heat up that tap area. I think there is. Anyway, we'll leave that a second. So yeah, I've got. A, I bought a still MS180C off a, off a friend that's uh, local in the village, and um, it's not running. So. We're going to tinker around with that today. He did say it had some uh, some fuel in it, and it'd been left for two years. And we all know how naughty the uh, the fuel is for being left. So we're actually going to um, what we're going to do. Oh wow! Look at all these. I'm a bit late round here. So what we're going to do? We're going to actually put a bit of fuel in, bit of fresh fuel in. Obviously, there's no fuel 
in it now we're going to see if it can any any new fill will be all right if not we'll strip it down and we'll put it in the um ultrasonic cleaner and see if we can get that cab cleaned out here's my roof i've just said i'm a, I'm a bit late because if i come around any earlier like you can normally see i'll pick all this uh all this off it's starting to drip off now you, can, you know it comes off in a big long piece so yeah we had a bit of sleety rain mixed with snow last night so that's put a new covering on the ground it's more like hailstone really like but i love it i love this time of year love this time of year so um yeah that's what we're gonna do so i just thought i'd show you kind of first first Hot call. Uh, dogs are still loving it running around the background here wherever they are. <laughs> so yeah. Hope everyone else is doing well. Sorry that sun's absolutely in the wrong position. Hope everyone else is doing well. Um you know tell shout out shout out to where you are and you know have you got any snow? Is it cold? It will be cold, I'm sure. Uh it's currently now at 10 o'clock in the morning, still minus one C where I am. That's what it was on the on the uh, thermometer. So, but I'm, I'm sure that's going to start heating up pretty fast um, with this sun. I know there's not much sun out there, but it, you know I'm sure it'll start uh, heating up just a couple of degrees, which makes all the difference. Uh, we've got some freakishly um, warm weather coming in the next four or five days, uh, up to like 12, 13 degrees Celsius, which is like. A big like what we're talking we're talking like a 15 degree change from what we're what we're currently at um so yeah that's a bit weird um just goes to show you just mother nature does what she likes but i sure do wish the uk was more like the some american parts of the uh you know the upper upper states even the mid states you know that uh, really get hounded by that cold cold weather and 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 the snow because well, I know people who live in it say it's not fun, but it's just so sterile when you've got a fresh dump in the snow and you, you know, things can just, you know, jobs can take a bit of a back burner for a while instead of having to constantly think, right, let's keep busy, keep busy. Well, you do keep busy, but yeah, I'm going to make a phone call today, see where this uh, firewood is. Uh, I've got a, a big load of firewood coming in hopefully soon. Uh, the other day I split uh, I must have split about 500 uh, kilos of wood with the axe. I didn't. I didn't film it. I should have done, but I split it with the axe just to keep warm, and so that was nice. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's about it. We've got some uh, some wood left up here. That's um, that's some ash and sycamore. But I might. I'm going to leave that for the mill. We've obviously got our mill grade uh, logs up there as well. That's. Um, Douglas fir and larch. So happy days, happy days indeed. So I'm going to stop babbling, and the next time I'll bring you back on camera is when I get this uh, this little MS180. Uh, it'd be a nice little saw that. Right, talk soon. We have water. I did get drenched in the in the process, but we have water. That'd be too cool for your brain, that Roxy. I, I took the took the. Uh... Go on then, have a drink. Go on then. Go on then, have a drink. <laughs> That'd be cold, is it, girl? Be cold. Go on then. I took the uh, the cap off and. Uh poked around with it with my knife and then it blasted me so I'm uh, a bit wet I'm a bit wet <laughs> I think my hat got it, my body got it, my pants were soaked so anyway that's that's just winter though guys isn't it eh, I should really empty it but here's where it is yeah I've crackers them too Right then, I'll go give this water to the to the chickens and then um, let's get on with that little chainsaw. 
All right, guys, so we're in the shed. We've got a little uh, butane gas heater that takes these little cartridges running in the running to the side of me here. Just keep keep the odd digits nice and uh, thawed out a little bit. Uh, ah, she's she is a chilly one. She is. So here's the little still uh, MS180. Uh, I think, if I remember rightly, it's about a 40, 40 cc uh, little engine. I think. Um, scabbard on it there, so I move that. He did say that it had a, a newish chain on it. It's got a, a 35, is it? 35 centimetres, 350. I think that's a 14 inch. Bar. Bar. So it's got a 14 inch bar in it and he's dead right, it's a brand new chain it hasn't had actually any use on it so that's a bonus he did give the chain as well to give me a chain with it as well so I'm going to pop this uh, pop this cover up however it comes up how do you come off? There we go. So it just takes the cowling off the top there. Air filter needs a blast out and a clean leg. That's no biggie. I actually bought one of these for my son. The day he was born. <laughs> I know, call me crazy. But, uh, and I just knew that uh, Isaac, my eldest one out of the two, so there's Isaac and Milo, I just knew that he would be the one that uh, would be interested in anything that I'd be doing. And sure enough, he wants to be with me all the time. But uh, unfortunately, school is also important. You know, you can't enjoy the things that I do now um, if I didn't go to school and get a, get a decent, half decent job and a bit of education you know to make you make your life a little bit easier as you go on so that's not actually that bad I thought it was worse than it is it's just the, the way that that stuff is it's like a, a fibre isn't it around it so that's okay now we'll open cap yeah, I don't know. I don't. This doesn't smell that bad. Of, you know, it doesn't smell like varnish. You, you know when something's been in there that long. Just pause you a sec. Sorry about that, guys. Um. So yeah. Um. Doesn't smell like varnish. So I've got some. Uh, got some fuel mixed up here. I uh, I do a hundred mil of uh, two stroke to um what do you call it five liters my little butane cartridge is having a hard time keeping going here it's uh, got it's plenty full but it's uh dying down quite quickly i don't know why that is anyway let's just put a splash in just enough to wet its whistle So just another warning on this kind of thing, right? So if you if you are using your chainsaw for let's say four weeks, a month, then I would really recommend you to empty your tank, run it dry, just so it's out of the carb. And um you know that way um you should you, you you shouldn't have no issues you shouldn't have no issues after that so use our best practice then that should be the best one for you guys for anyone got no oil in as well 
go. Just put that clip back in. Right, all right, all right, Hob. That's at least half full, that. Put a new one in. Right, that's going again. Right, we need some oil. We need some oil. What's this one here? Ash's card. Oh, she is cold. That is engine oil. That'll, that'll be just as good as out, but she's pretty cold. That didn't like coming out there at all. Right, so we'll click. There we go. So it goes that way. Anyway, right. Good break on it. Good break on it. That's a good cut. Is it a good? It's quite strong, that. Right. Let's just put this cowling back on, so I know that. Uh, Chain brake's back on, carbs on, I think. Yep. Yep. Well, that's a good sign, guys. That's a, that's a good sign. I think I got myself a bag in there, lads. <laughs> he didn't know what he was doing. He didn't really want to mess about with it. He didn't know how to take it apart. Fortunately, he didn't need it. Happy days. It's nice. Nice little 
Nice little, uh, little little saw that is. It's uh, yeah, it's a nice little saw. Now uh, there is oil going through. It's just I might have to drop that one out and put some thinner thinner oil through for this winter for winter sort of use. But now she works a she works a treat there. It's going to be me little like limbing saw this. I've got a permit for the woodland where I am that um, I can take downed wind blown trees out and um, well this with a little 14 inch bar very light saw um, is a nice little uh, nice little use oh, that, that oil starting to Weep out a bit now. Fantastic. So yeah, that's that's <laughs> that's that one done then. So we'll call that one a success. Sounds a nice little saw there. It's a 2008 model. This it's a MS 181. Oh, 181. I thought it was 180. All right, 181 forward slash C. Um, not really sure what that C stands for. Um, should we have a look? I think, no, I don't think it means cold. <laughs> uh, still, MS181C. Even you where I was even looking at, look. BE, is there a BE? No, no, no BE on this one. Lightweight saw, this is, this is off a, a website here. When I eventually get some signal, I accept cookies because that's what you have to do on everything nowadays. So these saws retail for three hundred pounds UK. Probably could get them cheaper here and there. I think I paid a hundred and eighty for mine when Isaac was born three years ago. Just so let's have a look. Uh, right, MS one eight one. Oh, the MS181C hyphen BE, which this one isn't, is similar to the 181 but comes with additional features such as ergo start and chain quick tensioning. Mine doesn't. Mine's old school. Mine still needs the uh, still needs the scrunch. Um, making this so extremely easy to start and maintain. So this is not mine. I'll have to try and... 2008 this is, so... Uh, it's, it's all these BEs. Now, what's the difference? It has additional comfort, including an ergo start system and ch chain quick tensioning, making this saw virtually effortless to start and easy to maintain. So, man, man doesn't do that. Man doesn't have the quick chain tensioning, so that's, that's something that... Yeah, so man must just be the original version then. Um... That's all right. So yeah, it's um, mowers to go. Let's have a look at what they say about it. Um, let's see where it can. 12 inch, 12 inch, 14, 14. It takes us up to a 16 inch bar. I don't think I'd like to run a 16 inch bar. Man, but them, them uh, it's a 3 H Pico chain on this, so that may be why. So that, yeah, that might be why. Um, Compact lightweight chainsaw for the domestic user with Ergo Start. Perfect for trimming bushes, felling trees, or cutting wood. Highly recommended product for the comfort, comfortable operation with the latest in vibration reducing technology. The easy to use operation makes it ideal for home gardeners or expert arborists alike for their maintenance needs. Competitively priced, this makes a simple choice for a dependent petrol chainsaw. Um, Available 12, 14 or 16 inch bars, easy to start, great for general garden tasks, two year warranty. Well, we're a little bit out of that because it's a 2008 saw. Very comfortable operation, means it can be used by even an amateur gardener. Now if you're an amateur guys and you've never ran a chainsaw, please seek the advice of somebody who has run them more than you <laughs> even seek professional um help 
uh, or guidance or tuition because you can't you shouldn't just pick up a chainsaw i did i mean i i actually did but you shouldn't pick up a chainsaw and just think you know what you're doing please go and have a little tuition time with with even a pe person you're buying it off um a, a shop um an arborist a, a tree felling company just ask them if you can if they can just teach you the basics of what what to do it, it it's really simple like that um Oh, manoeuvring the chainsaw is effortless. There you go. Being a featherweight of just over four kilos, so I'm not sure what, what that is in pounds. Um, yeah, so it's two stroke, obviously. Results in 20% lower fuel consumption and is greatly reduced emissions compared to other two stroke models as well. So there you go. Constant engine power. And it has a pre-separation air filtration system. I have no idea what that is. Comes with the Amatic chain lubrication system to make your chains last longer. So yeah, that's that's it. That's the MS 181C. Not the BE, just C. Um, yeah, and I, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Compensator. Doesn't have one. Doesn't need one. Uh, but yeah, it's a nice little saw. It, oh, it's a 31.8cc saw. So there you go. Um, and my, my heat is dying again. What is going on? Uh, yeah, sure, that's, that's nice. That's nice. So we'll put that to work. We'll put that to work at some point. So thanks very much, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, just a real random one. Check, check the chickens for the ice. Work on an MS181. Happy days. Take it easy, guys. Let me know if you run one of these or if you've had any experience with a 181 or a 180. I'm not sure what my son got, actually, whether it was a 180 or a 181 now. Anyway, we'll find out when he's old enough to yield it. Um, I will start him on an electric one. I will I will, I will, will do that so he can... Uh, them electric ones are just so much uh, easier than, uh, than these petrol ones you know once you let go of that that chair at that throttle it's dead like so it's uh so that's handy and uh he doesn't have to worry about starting it either not until he's old enough anyway right then guys thanks very much i've waffled on for a ooh, let's have a look 30 minutes nearly so yeah we're done now take care guys and we'll see you on the next video